All right, everybody, welcome. Uh, Greg Davis here with First Priority here in Birmingham, and uh, we're celebrating our 30th year of uh, ministry with uh, teenagers and children all across the greater Birmingham area this year, and uh, we're super excited to be in a partnership with Steve Skipper and Anointed Homes Art uh, with this uh, brand new painting that Steve has uh, done. He's a super gifted guy and has become a dear friend of uh, mine and our ministry and uh, the intercession in Washington. I'm gonna let him tell you all about it and uh, I'll chime in some too, but, uh, but man, what a, what a great, uh, I think I call it just a testimony uh, in, in picture uh, that we have uh, that Steve has created and that uh, J.K. Scott, and Alabama football players and, uh, and President Trump uh, provided us with. And so um, we're excited about this partnership and, uh, and uh, a portion of the proceeds of all the sales are gonna come back to First Priority to continue to support the work that we do on hundreds of school campuses uh, across the area involving uh, literally tens of thousands of students during the school year. And so uh, it's, it's a great day and uh, we appreciate you guys coming and being a part of this. And so uh, I'm gonna uh, let Steve Skipper come and tell you more about the painting and then we'll uh, unveil uh, how beautiful it is. And, uh, and tell you how you can get uh, prints for yourself. Uh, go make great Christmas gifts and, uh, and uh, just uh, something great for your office or for your home, either way. But uh, let's let Steve come and tell us more about it. Steve, thank you. I'm glad to be here this morning and uh, very, very honored to be working with First Priority and Greg. And uh, one thing about the painting, and um, J.K. Scott uh, told the story about how God dealt with him to pray for the president. This wasn't a political thing, it you know, wasn't a Democratic or Republican thing. It was a, a prayer that he wanted to pray personally for the president as a person. And um, I think that uh, when the Alabama football team won the national championship and went to Washington to celebrate that, I think it took a tremendous amount of boldness considering the fact that an organized situation like that at the White House and a young man uh, thinking about what God told him to do, and he actually did exactly what God told him to do. And it wasn't something that was planned between him and the other players. Uh, once he got to the point to where he asked the president if he could pray for him, and the president said yes. And once that happened, all the other players started to come together around the president. And I thought that the boldness that it took for a young man to take that stand and to, and to pray for the president like he did, I thought it was an awesome thing. And it's not a, a new thing for God to use young people uh, to do something bold, to do something great like that, and to, to bring glory to him. And I think that uh, this painting, I wanted to do that to preserve the story and preserve the message behind their boldness, but at the same time for the painting to provide a source of inspiration to young people that God is using all over the country. And I think First Priority is a great organization that, uh, that really, really serves uh, and to be an inspirational uh, tool that God is using for young people. And then at the same time, I think that people all over the place, whether you're young or whether you're old, I think the, the boldness that it takes to witness for Jesus Christ and the boldness that it takes to obey God is something that we really need today. And right now I'd like to unveil the painting with Greg and let you see it. Well, of course, uh, thank you, Steve, for uh, offering to, uh, to, to partner with us on this. This is something he approached us with uh, as a way that he would give back. Um, and uh, these are already available, uh, just available, at uh, his website, steveskipperstudio.com. And uh, you can go there, and it's right front and center, along with uh, all the other beautiful art that he has, uh, featuring a lot of athletics, but also uh, Christian prints and, and um and very inspirational uh, civil rights um, issues and, and leaders. And so if you go to his website, steveskipperstudio.com, uh, you'll be able to find that. But again, uh, proceeds from this particular uh, work will come back to benefit First Priority uh, here in our work in Birmingham and, and really all across Alabama. And so, uh, I don't know, has anybody got any questions or anything? Well, to tell you the truth, the biggest thing about this painting is the fact that it has nothing to do with politics. 
It has nothing to do with Republican. It has nothing to do with Democrat. It has a lot to do with uh, a young person being bold enough to do what God told him to do. When he said he wanted to pray for the president, it was not uh, anything political. It was as a human being that had a tremendous amount of pressure on him in his life and with the calling of being the president. You know, that's what he did. And so what we want to do is inspire young people to just do exactly what God tells you to do, no matter the situation, no matter the pressure, and no matter the whoever comes against you in the process. That's exactly what this is about. When I, when I heard the story, when I saw exactly what they were doing, and when I realized the organized situation at a White House, when it comes to something like that, everything is so organized and so planned and everything is so, you know, rigid, that you mean to tell me that a young man would obey God and go to the president and ask him, could I do something that's not on the schedule? Could I do something that's, you know, because everything in the White House is extremely scheduled. Can I do something that's not on the schedule? And I think that the big thing is when the president said yes. That was huge. And at the same time, the scripture tells us to pray for our leaders. And this young man did exactly what the scripture says in a time when people are criticizing leaders. And when you criticize a leader, you have what you say. But when you pray for them, you got a chance for things to turn around. So I think that that right there impressed me. Yeah, well, I think it goes back to exactly what he said. It really wasn't about politics. It was about uh, really the boldness of a young man and, and others to, to come around and break protocol basically at the White House, so to speak, um, in, in a good way. And so uh, I think that's really what it's about. It's not about politics. We're not trying to make any kind of political statement. or It has nothing to do with that. It wouldn't matter uh, who the president was or wasn't um, at all. Uh, it wouldn't matter one bit. Uh, so I'm excited about it because I think it's a, a great example. We, we have an event every year, it's a fundraiser event we call SCORE, and it, and it stands for Students Count on Real Examples. And so this fits really into that mold very well, that students count on real examples. And uh, we saw J.K. Scott and these other Alabama players and, and probably other coaches and people that gathered around as really great examples to, uh, to just do what God prompts you to do in that moment as a Christian. And uh, so that, that's what it means to us, really. Yeah, I think when people see that, I want them to be inspired um, and, and to see that a young man stepped out of his comfort zone, I'm sure, and approached the President of the United States and said, can I pray for you as a person? And, uh, and, and he allowed that to happen and, and others came around. I, I think it's the same message. I want them to be inspired. And, uh, and as Steve so well said, uh, the, the Bible instructs us in, in First Timothy to pray for our leaders. And so um, it doesn't, doesn't say pray for them if, if you agree with them or disagree with them, it says pray for them. And so uh, I think the fact that, that J.K. Scott was willing to step out and be that bold uh, should inspire all of us to, to live more of a life of boldness um, in doing things that, that are righteous and things that God asks us to do. One of the biggest things to take away from the picture is when you see something wrong or you see something going wrong, instead of the criticism that everybody else has given, pray about it. Pray for the person so God can turn the situation around. And I think that that's the, the, the biggest ingredient, that this, this young man knew the, the, the uh, answer to different things that are going wrong today. The answer to everything that's going wrong is prayer to a true and living God. Um, again, stevescipperstudio.com. And uh, that's where the painting is available. So uh, everybody uh, maybe with us online, uh, that, that would be the information we'd love for you to share so people will know where to go. And, and, and purchase this for their office, for their, uh, for their home, uh, even for their, maybe even in, in a church. Uh, it's a great option and with the holiday season coming, uh, we feel like a lot of people are gonna wanna get this and support First Party at the same time. So uh, thank you so much and, uh, and God bless you. Thank you guys for being a part of it. Whether you're here or you're virtually, uh, we appreciate your support.